Okay, everyone. Here's the video that I think all of you have been wanting me to talk about since this story broke. Um, I remember posting up videos, um, maybe not that many videos today. And I had saw people in the comment section wanting me to talk about this whole Keaton Jones situation. I saw a video that China Fox did. I saw one that Willie D um, did as well. And it's like this story just came out of nowhere and it has since gone viral. And when I tell you this story has layers, it has layers to it. So basically you had this little boy by the name of Keaton Jones, who was the quote unquote victim of being bullied and it was recorded and put online and it went viral. But then some other things came out after the fact because he ended up getting a lot of support and out outpouring support from a lot of celebrities and things of that nature. But he also started receiving donations and I'm telling you, he racked up in donations in a very short amount of time. He, last time I checked, I believe he racked up in probably about almost $60,000 worth of GoFundMe donations. But then something else happened after the fact, but I don't want to go and spoil it. I mean, some, by, the, by the time you've seen this video, you will already know what happened. But what I'm going to do now is play this clip. Um, it's coming from MSNBC, and I'll go from there. Before we go, you have to see this. A woman in Tennessee shot a video of her son recounting his day at school after she picked him up in the middle of the day because he was too afraid to go to lunch. And his words are just heartbreaking and they're also inspiring. Our friend Hoda Kotb from NBC has more. In front of my nose, they call me ugly, they say I have no friends. This morning there is growing support for young Keaton Jones. The boy talking about being bullied at his Tennessee school in an emotional video that has quickly gone viral. Why do they bully? Why do you find joy in taking innocent people and finding a way to be mean to them? Not okay. Millions of people sharing the video post by Keaton's mother, along with the hashtag Stand with Keaton. Celebrities, politicians, and athletes offering words of encouragement. Stranger Things actress Millie Bobby Brown tweeting, Why do people do this? I think you are so cool, Keaton. I want to be your friend. Some of the biggest names in pop music weighing in, including Katy Perry, Demi Lovato, and Justin Bieber, who posted this. But I just want to say you're inspiring so many people. Um, with your message and your authenticity and your realness and um, we're all rooting for you and we're all cheering you on. Avengers co-star Chris Evans and Mark Ruffalo who play Captain America and the Hulk also sending their support. Stay strong Keaton. You are my own personal superhero. Tennessee Titan tight end Delaney Walker inviting Jones and his family to a game posting a video. Sorry that bullying has been taking place at your school. Hopefully this video and all the tweets that are being put out there make awareness to stop bullying. The young boy's emotional plea recorded by his mom when Keaton told her he was scared to go to lunch. What'd they do to you at lunch? Put milk on me and put a hand up my clothes. They're right at me. Fighting back tears, Keaton manages to offer advice to others who may be getting bullied too. People that are different don't need to be criticized about it because it's not their fault but if you are made fun of just don't don't let it bother you people who are different are extraordinary it's part of what makes them different and you know there's already a lot of pushback people are saying well what about the other kids at that school what about keaton jones do you know the whole story or the other side of the story here's a story that i know a young boy had a horrible friday and he was bullied at school so much that he had to leave that day. It doesn't mean that he's perfect or you're perfect or I'm perfect. There could be days when Keaton is tough on others, but it's a lesson for all of us. Why? Why do we have to do it? Because at any time we can be the jerk or we can be the one being bullied. But this is a moment where we all can be reminded we can be better. And I thank Keaton Jones for reminding us. Okay, so there's the video right there that came from MSNBC. Now what I'm going to do right quick is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to shift over to another article that came out probably a little bit soon after or maybe a few hours after this one did. 
Okay, so here's an article coming from the Daily News. Now, this one looks a little bit different. Remember how I said that there, uh, there was a GoFundMe account set up for him uh, for what happened? So, it reads, GoFundMe account set up for Tennessee boy who shared bullying story video on video put on hold. Now, GoFundMe will only put things on hold if they feel that there's something suspicious coming about whatever kind of thing that you put out there. So it makes you wonder what came out about this kid that would make them want to put that GoFundMe on hold. Let's find out. A GoFundMe account set up for a Tennessee boy who claimed in a teary video that he was being bullied is not accepting any more donations as suspicions grow about his mother's motives. The account, which was created on Saturday by Joseph Lamb, was to help Keaton James financially and had received more than $57,000 in donations. Now, remember, the video came out, it said on Friday. They said it was a Friday. This is by Saturday. He racked up over half. Uh, <coughs> he racked up over $50,000 in a day. But on Monday evening, he paused the contributions without giving a reason. The Facebook video, which was posted by Keaton's mother, Kimberly Jones, on Friday had garnered over 18 million views, has since been deleted. Numerous celebrities, including Demi Lovato, Chris Evans, and Snoop Dogg, tweeted their support for the boy. But Keaton's sob story quickly turned controversial when MMA fighter Joe Schilling said he had exposed a woman claiming to be Kimberly Jones. Schilling said in an Instagram video he reached out to Jones offering to take her son to a Los Angeles show, but said she just wants money and wanted him to share a GoFundMe page. It wasn't clear if it was the same, create, same page created by Lamb. He did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Now, here's the page right here, I, I, which I tried to click on it, but the image is not clickable. Um, you know what? Here it is right here. I can, okay, expanded it. So here it is right here. Stand up for Keaton, and here it is. It says uh, they reached their goal of twenty thousand dollars. It says raised by one thousand nine hundred sixty-one people in two days, fifty-seven thousand two hundred and sixty-four. And it says this campaign is trending. There's Joseph Lamb's name right there, created December 9th. and these are the donations on the side. And this is the story right here. And uh, you know how GoFundMe looks. Looks pretty legit to me. It's kind of hard to Photoshop something like this. But let's keep reading. Jones told Fox News she did not tell him, him being shilling, that I would rather have donations rather instead of the help from celebrities. She also made headlines Monday after an alleged Facebook post showed her posing with a Confederate flag. I've taken that down for a reason, Jones told Fox News, said, without saying why. Of course, she's not going to tell you why, because she, they don't want, she doesn't want her past exposed. But it's too late now, and I'm going to show you the post in a second. Lamp later posted, this is not about the mom, and added that he didn't personally know the family, but just wanted to help Keaton. It's also unclear where the funds will go. A GoFundMe spokesman told the Daily News the funds raised on Lamp's page are paused until the company verifies a campaign beneficiary. The company is working to make sure the money goes to Keaton, the spokesman said. So there you have that. Now I'm going <coughs> to pause the video again, excuse me, and show you the Facebook post that, uh, that came out after this now here's the post from Kimberly Jones which is Keaton Jones mother was posted on August 25th of this year I know it's this year because if it was last year it would have had 2016 behind the 25 they would have had it like that so this happened this year and she said dear but hurt Americans if you aren't bleeding no bones are sticking out and you can breathe stop crying and she put stop in all caps for the love, some folks clearly never picked a switch. And before y'all start talking to me about metaphorical, emotional, financial, or historical blood and brokenness, don't join a group. Hashtag y'all need some porch therapy. Hashtag coffee with Jesus. Hashtag something. Hashtag fine. Now, if you look at these images right here, there's Keaton Jones right there. I don't know. This is her right here with some guy holding a Confederate flag. And here is her Hick family with Keaton Jones and I'm guessing all of the siblings. And maybe that's her. And if you see right here in the corner, that person is holding a gun. 
and you have this one right here holding the Confederate flag. And I'm guessing that's Keaton Jones in the hat holding the American flag. And this person right here says, I stand for the flag. That lets me know right there that they are taking little jabs at the people who were protesting or kneeling for the national anthem, Colin Kaepernick included. But what's so crazy is that the amount of people that came out and supported this without knowing every detail about this situation. When it comes to the, listen, when it comes to the caucus thing, you have to know that many of them come with an agenda. Men, a good 99% of them come with some type of an agenda. Almost every single time. I just heard about this story and I could smell the bullshit right away. Like when people was telling me about it, I was like, this story is so new to me. See, when I'm at work, when I'm working, I'm out of touch with a lot of things. So if it's not sent to me, I would never know because I probably wouldn't look for it. But when I saw this, I said, okay. But then as I looked more into it, I was like, hmm, interesting. So basically this woman just finessed a lot of people out of thousands of dollars because the GoFundMe has been put on hold. I'm telling you, she probably did this to get Christmas gift for her family. <coughs> she probably had this whole thing rehearsed and told him to cry on cue. Granted, the little the boy probably was bullied and everything like that, but she probably told him to over dramatize the situation to get people to uh, feel sympathy. Let's be honest here. If you had a kid that was bullied, would you put, would you record them crying on camera? Would you put that out there for the world to see? Or would you deal with this as a personal matter? Because let me tell you something right now. If I had a child and they were bullied, I, the last thing I would do is put them on camera crying about them being bullied. Because then it's like, that could sometimes make a situation even worse. I know the people that donate to them have to be kicking themselves right damn now. But then there was also some people asking, does this make you feel any bet, like any less about what happened or does it make you still feel the same, but it still makes you look at the mom with a side eye? And there were mixed, uh, I would say mixed answers with that. Some people said it doesn't make me feel any type of way. And some people says it does make me feel some type of way. Because look at how he and his family, his siblings are being raised. And they're in Tennessee, for crying out loud. Remember, Tennessee, Pulaski, by the way, is the founding area for the KKK. The KKK was found in Pulaski, Tennessee. A real redneck territory, a real redneck state. I'm telling you, Alabama, Tennessee, Mississippi, those three right there are the true redneck states. And ironically, they are all neighbors. They're all neighboring states. It's some others, but those three right there, it's just something real stank about those three states. Now, I know some of y'all may not know who this is because, you know, I guess because her mother had enough sense not to record her daughter saying she was bullied on camera for attention. This is 10-year-old Ashanti Davis, who at the age of 10 years old committed suicide after dealing with a bully where was the outrage and outcry over this little girl where was the gofundme for her where were the donations where was the invites maybe that's what she needed and then she probably would still be here it says she actually got into a fight with the bully <coughs> but she couldn't take it anymore she killed herself 10 years old and this happened and this story came out on November 30th. It came out two weeks ago, and you barely hear about it. Yet that little boy down in Tennessee gets one video that comes out over the weekend, and now everyone in the world knows his name. Yet nobody knows who she is. I'll give you one more. Now, this is a story I talked about on my old channel. I talked about it on my Tarian Rain channel back when this first happened. This little boy by the name of Gabriel Tay who he was bullied as well. 
and killed himself? Where was his out? Where was his outpouring of support? Where was his GoFundMe? Oh, I'm guessing his mother didn't have enough time to record him crying on camera, or, or should I say, on cue, and begging for donations. It's amazing what people will come out and support for without knowing all the <coughs> excuse me without knowing all the facts. But of course, because Keaton Jones was a white boy, and because we saw it on video of him actually being bullied, <laughs> y'all know where I'm headed with this. Now this girl right here. Amy Joyner Francis. I talked about her on my old channel. She was killed because she was jumped in the bathroom by some girls and she was pretty much beat to death. She got a little blurb here and there. Nothing really happened to her attackers. But where was her GoFundMe page? Where was her outpour of support? Why weren't people talking about her the way that they're talking about Keaton Jones? Oh, that's right. Her... Gabriel Tay and Ashanti Davis were all black. Black kids. She, of course, she was a teenager, but she was still a minor. So technically, she was still a child. I have no, I have no more words. I could go on and on with the examples that I have given you, but I think you see the point. <laughs> 